Hi, my name's Shane Westcott from Absence. I look after technical for Australia and New Zealand, and I'm here to tell you a little bit about uh, Microsoft license control, Adobe license control in the um, terminal service if it's virtual desktop and streamed application world. Now, if we just do a quick diagram, and this could be a terminal server, this could be a Citrix server, this could be VDI architecture. The problem we have is that the licensing method and the licensing requirements of most applications, whether they're Microsoft applications, Adobe applications, or a lot of other vendors, are all licensed per device. Now that depends on where you control the application from. So if this is a thin client, the user is controlling the application from this thin client, but it's actually running on the architecture, whether it's a VDI or terminal server, you need to have a license for this particular device here. So the software might run, if we're talking about project, the software might run up there, but uh, the license needs to be assigned to the device. Now AppSense has been endorsed by Microsoft, Adobe, and a lot of other software manufacturers to control this licensing because we can proactively lock down the license control per device. We're on a list of devices in our software that are authorized to run the software. If I connect into my VDI or terminal server architecture from this thin client that has a project license, I'm allowed to run the software. If I connect in from this thin client here that doesn't have a license, try and run project, it'll be blocked, can generate an auditing event, and that can be used to track which devices need the licenses. Now this is true even if you're streaming the application. So if you have a, something like at V, something like uh, Citrix streaming, uh, when you're streaming the application down to a local desktop, you still need to control that license by device. So in that example, you would have our the AppSense application manager product running down locally on the device, and that would be uh, either allowing the application or uh, blocking the application, depending on whether you have a license allocated for this device. So, very important if you're looking at Citrix architecture, you're looking at VDI, make sure that you put in some license control. It's an easy way to get a return on investment. If you don't do that when you get it um, audited or assessed by one of these large companies, there may be a nasty little bill waiting down the track. So, that's all about losses.